Okay, so this is going to be the last part of the tiger drawing. So as you can see in between the end of the last video and this video, I've basically finished going over all my lines and I've started to block off the dark areas. So what I'm going to do now is just smudge out these darker sections. And in this specific instance, in this drawing, what I would like to bring up, and again, there's not a right answer, it's not math, is shading the areas in the tiger. So in other words, if you look at the eye, I've done some shading in the eye. Now, what I need to find a balance on for this is the rest of the tiger. So if I look at the reference photo, there's some white areas, there's some darker areas. So the question is, do I want to shade in these darker areas? And if I do, how much? Do I want to make it very realistic? Do I want to leave part of it out? And I think the answer for me for this drawing is that I want to incorporate some of it, but I don't want to incorporate all of it because I still want some of these colors to come through. So maybe what I'll do is include these areas that are in white around the eye and I'll sort of shade around those. And basically what I'm doing with my smudge stick right now is I'm just picking up some graphite and I'm making a line of where I don't want to color. So if I'm looking at the eye, this section is going to be going to be white and I'm going to color around it. So we know that the tiger is a little bit darker in those areas. And then there's going to be some white down in here around the mouth and back in this area. So I'm going to color in here. And maybe I'll add a little bit of shading in some other areas, but nothing too, too dramatic. And so again, this is basically, for me, this is the fun part of the drawing because this is where you really sort of make it stand out is by taking your time and going in and sort of working on these details and adding what you want to add, seeing what works and what doesn't. And the only other thing I want to add is that you should never get discouraged when you're working on a drawing if it's not turning out the way that you want it to. The best advice that I can give is to keep working on it. I think probably 99% of the drawings that I work on at one point or another, I think, oh, I totally just screwed that up right now. And your sort of first instinct is to say, well, forget it, right? I'm just going to pitch this one. But I would really encourage you to not do that and to keep working on it. And I think that that will... Uh, first of all, I'll teach you to be patient with them, which is important, but also um, that you probably have more skills and better skills than you think you have, and that if you work through that problem, you'll find a solution which you can then remember and apply to your next sketch, which is very worth it. So I am just going to continue working on this, and again, using my 3B pencil, to add some of the darker sections in. And that is the technique that I use.